All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're ready. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. So, I'm going to be doing a top five of something sort of category of my personal opinion per week for a while. Uh, I have some stuff already thought up, but I'm going to do them once a week. But this week, today, we're doing my top five worst films and series I've seen of all time. Granted, I've seen plenty just this past five years, but these are the worst of the worst, in my opinion. Whether it be something that ruined the whole film by one scene or ruined itself as a whole. These are in order from five to one, um, as per requested, and this kind of makes sense. So it's worse to the worst of the worst. And to start off, we're going to start with five, obviously, with the Mortal Kombat reboot, reboot from 2021. Pointless character, waste of use of Scorpion, including his pointless setup, to the fact it's called Mortal Kombat, but no um, tournament was involved. It's just mind-blowing to me that there wasn't. Uh, I was so excited for this film, just only to be left underwhelmed and frustrated at the end. Here's my number four. 2022 Netflix series uh, Resident Evil live action came out. Uh, very excited, well not excited, but open-minded to go into it. I was a little bit hesitant, uh, but still kind of excited. Nothing about this outside of the name had to do with Resident Evil, be honest. Very unlikable characters, boring story. I was uh, forced to stop watching after fourth episode because of how pissed I was. Uh, easily the worst series I ever watched so far. Number three. In 2009, Rogue Warfare franchise came to be. The, the film looked like it was a middle school project film, horrible CGI, the most unbelievable look to the special ops teams, or the team, and the acting was so bad overall, but also overdone and drawn out by the villain with his dialogue. Keep in mind they made two more of these films, both came out in 2020. And here's my number two. In 2020, I did a review for Arctic Void, a foreign film. More of a project film. The most thinnest story with no explaining at all, just to end, dead end in the water at the end. I'm convinced the writer gave up after 20 minutes of writing to the script. And also, I, there was, it was so thin that I was having such an issue of trying to even point out stuff to put in my review at the time. So it was even more frustrating. Now, now here is my number one film. I the worst thing I have ever seen, and I'll tell you why. This is the movie Repo Man that came out in 2010. This film pissed me off four days afterwards, up to like three weeks. The story led up to the plot twist was so good, but it was to be tar all tarnished by easily one of the worst plot twists I have ever seen so far. It was like there was no point in caring for the main character or his story arc either afterwards. Easily, easily the worst thing and the most thing that pissed me off the most. Uh, there's a couple other, including the Resident Evil series that have pissed me off, but this easily hands down pissed me off. It was such a good story. It was going to be like one of my top 10 favorite films at the time or of Aldo, but then that plot twist just easily shit all over that whole thing. Excuse me for swearing. But, yeah, I mean, before I keep going on a rant, like a big old rant, as I did with that, and then I made a, a route, and I took those down because it was, it was, it was reminding me of how frustrating that was. Um, so this is kind of that thing. But yeah, you kind of get the gist uh, uh, of why, of if you've seen it, you know what that plot twist is, um, but yeah, I digress. Let me know in the comments below your top five worst films and series. Uh, they don't have to be all five series, they don't have to be all uh, five films. They could just be mixed in together like I did. 
make it make it easier but you can do whatever you want but until the next time uh i'm going to be doing wakanda forever hopefully that will come out tomorrow um but uh, remember i love you all please stay safe and skull